Hey everyone, greetings. Um, I heard about this idea to do these uh, three to five minute encouragement videos and uh, just the, the calling for it and I love it. I think it's an amazing idea. Um, I think that that's what we all need right now, man. I know I'm in constant need of encouragement and fellowship with brothers and sisters to, uh, to help me stay up, you know. So, uh, but Dan here in South Florida getting involved in the recovery church movement and I just want to say that you know I love what God is doing in the recovery church movement and I also see God doing amazing things even in these difficult times you know I think that God works all things together for our good who love him and are called according to his purpose and he uses all things even tragedies and even um, viruses he uses to bring people closer together than maybe there were before. So he, he makes light shine in darkness. And I think that's one of the most beautiful things about our God. But what I want to talk about tonight is that God is greater and he is near. Um, so Psalm 121 says, I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So there the Lord is the creator of heaven and earth. Yet he's where... My help comes from, and for us as believers in Christ, in God, we can trust that, that our help comes from him who made heaven and earth. Um, Psalm 91 says that, uh, 1 through 2, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And so here, you know, we have this idea that God is our refuge, our fortress. He's our, we can abide in his shadow and he can protect us. He's our shelter. We can dwell in him and he's our shelter. And, um, you know, so not only is he the creator of heaven and earth, he's where our help comes from. He's the most high and he's where we can find refuge and fortress and shelter. Um, and he's our fortress. And so, you know, I wanted to just talk about one thing I found in study that was really beautiful to me. And recently learned um, that the names here support that idea, support the idea of him being our shelter and a refuge and a personal fortress for us, and also being the most high and the creator of heaven and earth. So see, he's greater, and yet even here we see in the Psalms that he's also near and wants a personal relationship with us. Um, the name most high is actually Hebrew, Elion, which is E-L-Y-O-N. And that actually equals high above all other powers. High above all other powers. And so, you know, in AA and in recovery, we all talk about how we need a higher power. That's where our defense must come from. That's how we can get sober. That's how we can get the change and transformation we need is a relationship with a higher power. Well, if we look to the God of the Bible through Jesus Christ, who he became, and died for us, and rose from the dead, then we can have a relationship with that God, the, guy, the God who is high above all other powers. Um, Isaiah 40, uh, in this beautiful section, um, you know, Isaiah is talking to some, he, he's dealing with people around him who are worshipping the stars, they're worshipping the sky, basically, some pagan worshippers. And um, Isaiah is sort of having to prove, hey, you know, my God, the real, true, living God, He created the universe. Um, and He's talking about how great God is and God's greatness, right? Um, and I'm just going to start here in verse 28. So Isaiah 40, 28. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint. And to him who has no might, he increases strength. So this everlasting God who created the ends of the earth and is almighty and powerful and most high is also the same God who gives us who are faint power. He gives us who have no might strength. He strengthens us. And, you know, really I see like steps one, two, and three here. And I just want to end with that this same God is the, is the God who came here as Jesus Christ went to the cross, died for us in our place, and rose from the dead. 
So not only is he the creator of the universe and most high and has all power and is almighty, he also has power over sin and he has overcome death. So he has power over death. So he's stronger than our addiction. He is stronger than our struggle. He is stronger than our depression, our anxiety. He is stronger than the coronavirus and this chaos. He is greater and yet he's also near us. He's close. He's imminent. And he's with us. And um, so thank you for letting me share. And I hope that what has been encouraging me lately may encourage you. God bless.